What's up guys, I'm Nate Cumming, and thank you today for coming out for my next video, the 4Quake EQ Charge Bow Drag Showcase here, and I will be doing this live in war right now for you today. The clan that we're facing is called Born Ghosts. Uh, they are a minor league clan, and they're actually quite good. As we can see in this war, the score is actually in their favor at this point. They do have a Town Hall 10 advantage. I think they have several more Town Hall 10s, and it's not this. Now, it's not in a weird engineered sense that they have them. But it's it's not that way at all. It's just matchmaking gave us a very short hand uh, uh, versus this this clan. So we're gonna have to fight pretty hard to have a chance at winning this one in the later stages. But right now today, I'm going to be showing you the 4 Quake AQ Charge Bow Drag Strategy on this base, and I'll be doing it live right here. So in my composition, I'll go ahead and show it to you. I have four healers, I have six dragons, a minion, two baby dragons, a giant, a loon, and three wizards. Also, I have four quakes, just like the title of the video says, and I have two rages and one heal. The heal spell will be exclusively for the dragons when they go in, and um, hopefully... Hopefully, I'm able to save one of the rages for the dragons as well, although I think that might be a tall order considering how many point defenses the queen is going to encounter. So, I'll describe the plan to you right now, and then we'll get right to the attack. The plan is to start queen right here on this gold mine. Right here, next to this mortar, to drop a giant and probably three or two or three wizards right there in order to clear these three structures. Now, why am I doing that? Because I want the queen to then turn and go north towards this top side corner. But I don't want the queen to actually make it all the way to that corner. So what I'm going to do at that point will be to drop the king right here with the CC bowlers behind. There is a known Tesla farm in these spaces right here in between the wall and these gold mines and elixir collectors. So if I can take that out with the, with the uh, king and, and the bowlers, the king should have enough health to continue around this corner and take out that air, air, air defense and then also encounter the enemy king. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that he can make it out around that corner and at least take enemy king. That would be really, really great for us. Meanwhile, the queen will be here taking out these structures and the queen is going to step into a nice quad quaked area right here. These walls will be open for her and that gives her access to all four of the air defenses inside of the base. Notice with the composition, I'm not taking a Lava Hound. I only have one balloon to help support these dragons as they move through and uh, I'm gonna hopefully maybe soak up some kind of trap with that single loon. So we'll have to see how it goes but that is the general opener that I have set forth. Um, the back end of the attack, because of the direction of these sweepers and the orientation, I'm going to be trying to go at this base with the dragons from this angle. So I do have one baby dragon that I will be saving to take out these two structures here and also a minion that hopefully I'll be able to funnel these two structures here. And as soon as those go down, the dragons that I drop should go straight in like this towards this air sweeper. Now, from that position, they'll take out the expo, they'll take out these wizard towers, they'll take out the, uh, these those three w uh, w w wizard towers, and then get, get, get to that expo, and as soon as they get a little bit deeper like that, the queen should aggro them, at which point all of them should snap to the queen. I will have a nice heal spell, probably for this region right around in here, uh, for them to get nice and healed up. So um, yeah, that's the general attack. There's not a ton of point defense that can really harm the dragons on this back end. I mean, the archer towers, there only being three of them, I don't expect there to be a major issue, but the, the four, the four um, splash towers being the wizard towers, I do see that not being too much of a problem. So the only thing that can really throw us off here is a bunch of seeking air mines that are all in this area, and there's really no way for us to know if that's gonna be the case here. We should go ahead and attack. So let's go ahead and double check the army real quick. I have a full army, full spell composition. I have the four quakes, I have the bowlers, all my royals are up, and I have my army. To rerun it one more time, queen on this gold mine. Giant here with wizards. The second baby dragon will be dropped over here to funnel this trash and just take care of some business. Is And I'm not. I'm gonna delay dropping the healers, so the queen's gonna work on this by herself for a little bit. The king is gonna be dropped with bowlers right here, and his mission is going to be to work this corner. Quickly, while the King and Bowlers are working, I'm going to drop the Quad Quake in this area and drop the Baby Dragon up here and put the minion here. Now, at that point, hopefully everything will be okay. I'll have to burn the King ability relatively early because this Tesla farm is going to chew him up, 
but it should be okay. The healers will come down behind the queen, who should be targeted by these second layer defenses when she steps up to get inside the quake. So, here we go. Attack. Deep breath. All right, zoom in nice and deep like that. We are gonna go giant, wizard, 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 queen. Go ahead and get king and bowlers right there. Okay, get the quad quake going here. One, two, three. Okay. So looking okay. King ability, force her in. Yes, okay. So now we're banking on the queen being targeted here. Yes, she is. Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far. Some nice pathing, some nice pre stuff going on. Ooh, got a rage a little bit earlier than I expected, but that's okay. Okay, so queen is stepping up. Now, where is the CC encounter? Where is the CC encounter? Okay, so there is a Lava Hound in, 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 the, in the CC. This shouldn't be too big of an issue. It's just going to be a time problem so far. So the King of Bowlers have made it a long way around this base. I think I'm going to go ahead and start these uh, dragons. Oh boy, but she's still got to get that AD. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start up here. Got to shift my plan just a little bit here. And uh, probably going to have to Rage Queen to get through the Lava Pups. Because I do need her to stay alive here. She cannot die. We will have some major problems if she goes down. So... Uh, queen is, oh, wow, those pups are absolutely roasting her. Come on, Queen, come on. Queen ability. And uh, let's see, we, we have the, the, the dragons working in. I'm going to have to use a heal spell right about now. Come on, dragons. Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, so the queen hasn't seen the dragons yet. The dragons are uh, looking pretty healthy at, at this point. Queen's going to beat a wall, and I have one loon to help on this backside. I'm going to see if I can sniggle this last archer tower as the dragons close in. This is looking real hot so far like super hot. That queen's gonna get melted. Yeah, this is looking definitely like a triple. Here we go. We're gonna go after this archer tower now with the single loon. Oh, I dropped it on. Okay, so the archer tower had targeted the dragon that was almost dead. So still not gonna be a problem. We get we got a minute. We got three dragons in the air and only one air targeted defense left. Nice. So this is definitely a triple. Sexy raid. Very, very good. That went off almost perfectly. Almost perfectly, that was exactly the kind of thing that I wanted. Very nice. Yes! Okay, so guys, that is going to close out the video. This has been a, just a nice short one over one attack strategy, a live hit, no less. And I wanted to thank, once again, those people who came out last night for the stream. You guys pushed me from just under 900 subscribers to around 1,330 or 40 subs in just a four hour period. So you guys pushed me up a good 400 subscribers last night. That means the world. Thank you so much for showing up showing up, and giving me your, your support. Um, guys, I am gonna be doing live streaming a lot more because I did enjoy it quite a bit getting to interact with you guys. But in the, in, in the meantime, keep clashing and uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care, see you later.